Now you may be wondering, actually scratch that. You already know what a cup is. It's like a hollow basin that you can stuff anything in, preferably liquids. Pretty standard when it comes to cups. That's what they want you to do. Okay, that, that's a bowl. But the thing is, bowls and cups are practically the same thing nowadays. The definitions are kind of blurred and it only continues to blur. So yeah, bowls and cups can't really be classified into two separate groups anymore. Yeah, they, they just really can't. Cause like you look at one, you look at the other and you're like, it's a cup but it's not a cup technically. But anyways, I'd like to introduce you to my very own system to determine how cup something is. <laughs> Stay with me here. It's called the Cobb scale. Cobb means cup or bowl. Because with this revolutionary technology, you will be able to determine whether something is a cup or not in no time at all. Stay with me. Let me here, here's what the Cobb scale looks like. You got bowl on the left. The center is the I don't know region. The closer to the right it is, the more it's a cup. The closer to the left, the more it's a bowl. And anywhere in that middle region, it's anyone's best guess, honestly. So on, on the left, how do we know it's a bowl? Well, we look at it, right? More technical, like when you're looking at a bowl, you can kind of like tell it's a bowl because it's like a round crater looking like. And usually the diameter of the bowl is greater than the height. And they're also utensil friendly. On the other end of the scale, you have the cup, which is more like a hollow vessel. It includes handles and it's hand friendly. So you can carry it with one hand or no hands. There are some out there you carry with no hands. But yeah, this this method obviously doesn't work. Like it, it's malfunction, but whatever. Know your fucking place, trash. But let's take a step back from the claustrophobic market space full of garbage and see where the phenomenon even started at. So let's let's go let's go back. Like way back long ago you know when our when our minds shared the same density as bricks no like a million years back the prophecy is true perfect so these dumb fu- Alright, so the ancient humans weren't the brightest. They were playing pranks, doing stunts, and getting in on all the latest fashion trends. But with all those draining free time hobbies, they were sure to get thirsty, right? Now they may not have been the smartest to realize they could just use things to hold water. They somehow figured out their hands could kind of pull off the same trick, although not really. If you ever used your hands, like you could do this right now. If you ever use your hands to carry, hold, carry, whatever with water, you'll notice that it goes through your fingers and it just makes a mess every Everywhere, either on your shirt on the table on your face that's what the that's what ancient humans had they had hands but skip ahead something short of a million years back to 10,000 BC what are we doing that book has everything they need to create snake time travel basically the ice age is over and a mass extinction kind of just occurred and now there's a ton of fresh bodies lying around some edgy creative people from our ancestry well they turned the bones from these now unalive animals <laughs> into what we know as a cup. They also experimented with other hollow things from animals and even played around with wood to make cups. And then a few thousand years go by. Keeping up with the Kardashians is still releasing new shows in the years 4000 BC. These goofy goobers got tired of using trees and animals as cups, so they decided to turn to dirt. Not just, not just any dirt, sticky dirt, also known as clay. Now the new trend was glorified dirt that could stick together when cooked for a little bit. And then they had clay cups. And then keeping up with the Kardashians is still pushing out irrelevant content. The year is 2000 BC and your ancestors are getting it on in Mesopotamia. And that's where the metal cup was born. Although debuting with a horrible Yelp rating, there's nothing wrong with these cups other than the fact that they couldn't hold hot drinks in them without you getting severe burns. And they were commonly made out of lead. You know and they were also pretty thin so they weren't really dent resistant and there was like a few other problems but you know nothing critical i think it was a good choice you know lead cups as we shuffled closer to jesus around zero bc the romans made a really cool looking cup it turned like red green depending on where the light was i thought it was pretty interesting when i was doing all the research for this. But then the Chinese put up some more competition after inventing the porcelain cup, which is basically already taking glorified dirt one step further. So they took a mineral out of clay called kalanite and they sent it to hell for a quick second and boom, a cup. We still use it today. Porcelain is actually in most cups today. And not much happens in terms of cups until the 1900s. People were kind of busy with 
other things going on. But then some dude named James Dewar was having some fun playing with cups doing stuff. And yeah, he came up with a thermos. The tough, all steel thermos bottle that's completely defendable and built to take a bounding year after year. So just a little bit after the thermos, the disposable paper cup came around and it was only really there for sanitary issues. And then Victor made the coffee mug we all know today. Not Victor Victor, Victor Insulated Company. Yeah, I don't I don't know what they were making cups for, but they good job. And then some guy with a horrible mustache and anger issues decided he didn't like Poland being Poland and he also didn't fancy the rest of the world not being Germany. So he started throwing his cock everywhere. The allies decided it was time to circumcise the dude and get in control of the situation. And then the plastic bottle made its grand reveal. Pepsi Cola's new two liter plastic bottle. Anyways, then Travel Mug Mania came around, which was like the craze of the 80s. Cars started coming with cup holders, and then everyone's cupboards were stuffed with these cheap brand labeled cups, of mostly like the same design and different colors. And you could still find them. Definitely if you go to your grandparents' house, they're probably stacked in there still. Haven't been touched since the 80s. I don't blame them. And then Mug Mania was only foreshadowing what else was to come once the century turned, because it has not gotten better. Although cups are getting unnecessary updates and features, they're probably like the most important things that humans have ever put their dumb minds together to create. Now we have cups with grinded speakers, heaters, beepers, blender shakers, not containers, cryo freezers, Roblox creatures, gaming features, cookie feeders, cups with grinded speakers, heaters, beepers, blender shakers, not containers, cryo freezers, Roblox creatures, gaming features, cookie feeders, cookie feeders, cookie So yeah, the future of cups is looking less simple, but at the end of the day, but at least I got myself a Starbucks glitter filled tumbler and I could show my inability to manage my money properly with it to everyone I see. Cheers.